Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Thanks. So you have bottle babies now. Well, you're gonna have to make a decision. Do you hurry up and try to sell them or do you feed them? Cost obviously plays into that. And generally animals that are bottle fed, whether it's a calf, a lamb, you know, um, a horse, a pig, whatever it is that you got, goats, they generally have a harder time and they end up aspirating usually. Um, aspirating is when they're drinking milk or milk replacer, whatever it is that you have for them, and instead of it going into their stomach, they are drinking it and it ends up getting some of it into their lungs because it's giving them more than what they would be able to handle essentially. It's giving them more at a time than what they'd be able to handle. And what I have in front of me here is kind of the options that we have at our farm. So this lamb milk replacer, we do have it on hand. And now that lambing season's in full force, we actually don't use it. Um, we actually have bottle babies here now and we usually feed them this mix of which I'm going to talk about here in a minute. And it's not, I, I'm not going to bash powdered milk replacer because I am sure that there's some that work very well. However, we don't have, we don't have the need for it because we've found something else that works better for us. And ultimately, whenever you're going to continue to feed the animal, this is cheaper and it still gives us very good results. Better results than the lamb milk replacer did as far as some health habits. Um, what we noticed with lamb milk replacer, the powder that's over here on your left, we noticed that every time that we would feed them this, right, if we raised a lamb on it straight from the beginning until they were ready to be weaned, they would have diarrhea the entire time. And we tried a few different things to, to check to see if it was something with the animal. So at that point, we're like, I don't think it's the animal, we'll try it again on the next bottle lamb did it again, same thing, still had diarrhea. Um, I know that there are better brands than this one. This is one that we picked up at our local feed store. And on our farm, all we use this for is this gets us by until we can go pick up buttermilk. We keep evaporated milk on hand and we always have milk because we all drink a bunch of it anyhow. So we usually have anywhere from four to five gallons on hand at any time. So we could easily, uh, pull a gallon from what we would normally drink and still be fine and before you know the few days that we need to go to the store. Buttermilk on the other hand we live in a pretty rural area and we have to drive about 30 minutes to go to a grocery store. Um, the only thing we have locally here is a gas station and they don't carry buttermilk so not a big deal. Um, evaporated milk because you can keep it for a longer period of time has a longer shelf life we actually stock up and we keep it on hand from the year before. So when lambing season's over this year, we usually pick up two or three cans just to get us by because we already know we're gonna have to run to the store to get buttermilk. Anyways, the purpose of this is basically to get me by until I am able to go get this. And then I'm gonna show you how to mix it. So the evaporated milk, since this has 12 ounces in every can, we usually open a couple cans and we fill this up with it. And this makes it easier for us to mix the milk. I have a one cup container right here. So one cup is equal to eight ounces. And you're gonna need one cup of evaporated milk. Then you're gonna need one cup of buttermilk. Then you're gonna need an entire gallon of whole milk. And you don't have to have a container that will hold one and one eighth gallons, but it does make it a lot easier. Um, you can break it down 
there's 16 cups in a gallon. So let's say that you only have a gallon jug to mix it in. So that means you have to take two cups out of the gallon of milk in order to have room for your seven ounces of uh, buttermilk and seven ounces of evaporated milk to put back into this gallon that you emptied if you were mixing it in here. And then those two cups you took out, you'd have to put them in another container and you would add one ounce of buttermilk and one ounce of evaporated milk to those in order to mix the entire gallon. Or you could just drink the other two cups. You didn't have to mix the whole gallon. Not a big deal. But, so it, it is, you don't have to have a container that will hold it all. You can break it up if you really needed to. Once we do that, we'll put the lid on so we don't spill it. And then I'm gonna take you outside and I'm gonna show you what we do with it. Before we go outside, I'm gonna pour this I'm going to pour half a gallon back into this milk jug, mainly because I don't want to have to take this outside and bring it back in because I have other chores I need to do. So we'll put the lid on this real quick. We'll take it outside with us. We'll go feed them after I put all this stuff away so it doesn't get hot and spoil or anything like that. Remember, after you open evaporated milk, it does need to be refrigerated if you don't use it all. On the way out there to feed these bottle lamps just a quick reminder if you like the video please hit the like button also if you're new to the channel and you haven't already subscribe it's free doesn't cost anything we won't bug you we'll just show up in your news feed you know, show you that we've got new videos out that's all we do george the farm dog You can hear them crying right now, wanting fed. Yeah, we're coming. This is Spots and Dots. Dots is on the right hand side, Spots is on the left. <clears throat> Basically these two have been bottle babies. They're actually, this is their last week of being fed. So, this is their last week of getting milk from us. After this, they're transitioning completely to creek feed, hay, and water. Um, they, so I should rephrase this. They will still get milk, but they only get, a, they get less of it. And it's mixed with water, so it's getting diluted. Every week it keeps working its way down. And you can see how this bucket works. Basically they can do whatever they want and drink from it whenever they want when we put the milk in. <laughs> All right, all right. Let me stop talking and I'll give you the milk. These buckets, uh, we're not sponsored by anybody, but these buckets are available from Premier. You can get them with however many nipples you want on them, but two on each side on three sides is pretty much the max. Unless you're gonna hang it from the ceiling, then you could put two on each side all the way around. But that's pretty much exactly how it works right there. If you're curious more about how our farm works or what we do for certain situations, bottle babies, new births, etc. Check us out. Again, please, if you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hopefully you do, and we'll see you next time. Have a blessed week.